I'd like to call the regularly scheduled meeting of the Plaquemines Parish Council as the sole governing authority of the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District for December the 8th to order at 11.55 a.m. and the machine is open for roll call. Let the record reflect that all members are present except Council Member Gooey and LaHaye. Next item, please. Item two, executive session. There is no matters under that item. Agenda item three, status report by the executive director. At this time, I'd like to introduce our uh, new executive director, Mr. Charles Tillerson, who has uh, jumped in and taken off running. I think he's off to an excellent start. He's working with Melissa and the staff. And at this time, uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Tillerson to uh, give a brief introduction of himself and a little bit background. And uh, I welcome him to the position and look forward to uh, working with you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And um, I'm Charles Tillerson, the new executive director. I'm very excited to be here. Um, the room looks uh, um, very familiar to me because I have watched many, many of the sessions on YouTube, uh, and um, I, I'm just excited to be here. I, I come here from uh, Port Manatee in Florida with uh, decades of experience in marine terminal operations, and uh, I'm very excited about the opportunities here and helping to develop and lead the development of uh, uh, this region. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tillotson. Anyone would like to make any comments at this time? Ms. Newberry? Yeah, I appreciate you taking this position. Um, thank you so much. And I have to agree with Mr. Russo. You've, you've taken on this position. You already started off on the right foot, so thank you for that. Um, I like the fact that you've engaged with some of these board members that are now leaving, um, and, and hopefully you have that same um, feeling with the new boards. Um, but I think you're going to be successful here. Um, we're a great community. Um, looking forward to your progress and see how you progress. Um, but welcome aboard. Thank you so much, and it's really been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. LaFrance? Yes, I would like to welcome you to Plaquemine Parish. Uh, welcome to uh, this board, and I look forward to working with you in the next four years. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Blink? I I'm excited to see you begin work here. Look forward to your term. Uh, I appreciate your commitment to the community and including the community and, you know, considering projects that have lesser impact to community members and such as we, as we go about developing the board. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Konovich. I want to welcome you and uh, let you know anything you need. I'm going to just phone call away, help you out as much as I can, and I'll just have to get used to that vegan thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a meat eater. So. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Anybody else would like to make a comment at this time? Uh, as you know, you were appointed unanimously, and I think you had the support of the board. And in, in your mission statement, uh, the second dot that you put on that mission statement about the transparency and uh, the working togetherness is going to go a long way uh, when you implement that policy consistently. So again, we thank you for that. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and I would also just like to thank the entire board. Uh, I think it was a very rigorous interview process. I think from the time that I put my resume in up until the 11th hour. Uh, and um, uh, I, I think there were very challenging questions asked. Uh, and, I, and I do believe, based on the conversations that we've had, that there are very high expectations of me, and uh, you know, I give you my word that you will be getting 100% of effort from me to move this port forward. Thank, Thank you. you. Councilman Rathalami? Yes. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having a meeting with you. And I guess most importantly, you listen, you hear, you evaluate. And being on the East Bank, we are in dire need of development. And so the question was brought to your attention. And there was no second guessing. Um, I'll look into it. We're going to move in that direction as well because we're going to deal with Plaquemines as a whole. 
So whatever can we can develop, we will develop. And I appreciate that outlook. It's saying that it is the future. And it's designed to be a very hopeful future with your attitude that you have disseminated to me. And I'm assuming you did the same thing with the rest of my colleagues as well. So I really want to thank you for that attitude, and I hope that whatever uh, you need that is granted, and if you need anything of me as a citizen, of course, and as a supporter of port activity, support, give me a buzz, give me a call, or you to send somebody to come look for me, whatever it may be, but I uh, will be supportive of your efforts because I think you offering us an opportunity to be aggressive as a parish and to be where we need to be for the future. Well, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Any other comments? If not, we will move on to the agenda. 3A, financial report, budget to actual. No report. No report. No report. Bids and advertisements, I don't believe they are any. Item five, introductions of ordinances and resolutions. We have two under Commissioner Cognovich, a resolution electing the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District Chairperson for 2022, and otherwise to provide with respect, I'm sorry, 2023, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto, a resolution electing the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District Vice Chairman for 2023, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Okay. Item number six, ordinance, I'm sorry. Item number six, ordinances and resolutions on second reading and final passage. Under item A, there are none. Item B, a resolution to terminate their agreement between the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District and Louisiana 23 Development Company, LLC, also referred to as LA 23, pursuant to the terms of the agreement, which approved, which was approved through resolution number 19-329, by the council on December 12, 2019, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto, Commissioner Roussel. I'll offer his red next for a second. Second. Segment comes from Any comments or discussion? Comments? None. Machine is open. Let the record reflect that there are one, two, three, four, five, six to one with Mr. Arbro voting against. Next item, please. Item C, an ordinance to amend and as amended, readopt ordinance number 07120, adopted May 10th, 2007, to establish and initiate the collection of the Plaquemines Port Harbor and Terminal District security fees and otherwise to provide with re respect thereto. We do have changes. I'll offer with the changes an extra second. Yeah, please. I offer for, with the changes. There's a second. I'll second. Second, Councilman Bartholomew. On line 26, the break bulk fee has changed to 23 cents per ton. On line 28, the word dry in front of bulk has been removed, and the fee has changed to 5 cents a ton. Um, it is also 5 cents a ton for liquid bulk on line 29. Line 30, Containers, there are 73. It's 73 cents per box. Line 31, vehicles will now be 6 cents per vehicle. And number 32, passengers will be 6 um, six cents per passenger. I'm sorry, both of those are a dollar and three, 6 cents. Yeah, just to correct that for the public's knowledge, uh, the uh, containers go from, uh, it'll be $4.73 per box. And uh, as she said, the vehicles will be a dollar and six cents a vehicle and a dollar six cents passengers. These are the tariff adjustments. Administration, have any comment on this? If not, any comments or questions uh, from the table? Hearing none, machine is open. And the orders adopted to seven to zero with GUI and LaHaye being absent. Next item. Item D, 
an ordinance to amend the Plaquemines Parish Port Harbor, the Plaquemines <coughs> Port Harbor and Terminal District Terminal Tariff Number One rates, charges, rules, and regulations, Rule Thirty Four, Sub Rule One Thirty Five, Sections A, B, B One, C, C One, D, and D One, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. And there are changes to this one also. While she's getting to that page, uh, I, I believe this is a result of the study that we've done with the UNO. I offer an extra second. Second. Same with Councilman Connors. I believe this is the result of the, the study that was done by the UNO. That's correct. Yes. Yes. The increase in the tariffs now will make the Plaquemines more competitive. Okay. On line four, the section E has been added in the preamble. Then on the second page, line 71, the ocean vessel's non-liquid has changed to 0.551 per ton. Section C, inland vessel's non-liquid has changed to 0.001623 per ton. Line 79, under D facilities, non-liquid has changed to 0.001623 per ton. And there's an addition of E, midstream without prior approval. Non-liquid is $1.53 per ton, and liquid is 0.2112 per barrel. And those are the changes. Okay. I have a question. Any comments or questions? Yeah. Did y'all get a, um, did y'all do the figures where, what is the percentage increase just on a normal basis? Like, is it a 5%, 10% increase compared to what we've got, you know, developed, gathered over the past five years or three years? Well, overall, this is a 47% increase. 47%. Oh, that's great. All right. Thank you. And based on the, uh, the study that was done by you and I. Okay. Correct. And recommendations. Okay. Any comments or questions on the, uh, the ordinance? as presented with the changes? Hearing none, machine is open. And the ordinance is adopted seven to zero with Councilman Gooey and LaHaye being absent. Uh, next item. New business, item B, discussion on track B3, Commissioner Roussel. Yes, uh, do we have any progress on this item on the uh, the bidding process? Yes. Um, I've confirmed with the um, engineer, Infinity, we are still on schedule to go out for bid on January the 4th. All the front end documents have been completed. Okay. Are we going to be within the timeline of it from completion with the timeline of what Venture Global needed? Are we going to be within that timeline to complete this project for Venture Global? Um, the engineers, they're estimating about 15 to 18 months. Um, I haven't um, received any um, opposition from Venture Global that that might be out to their time frame, but I can certainly reach out to them to make sure. Yeah, um, I, because this project has been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back, so I was just <coughs> curious to see, you know, is this going to cause any delay on Venture Global's pro um, okay. development? So that would be great for the board to, to get an understanding next council. Yeah. yeah. I think Venture Global would like to have seen this done a long time ago. Yes, so. I agree. We'll move forward and eventually get it done. Any further comments on that item? I have a question on something else. Okay. Uh, personal privilege? Yes. Mr. Konovich seeks personal privilege. Where are we at with the tall grass property? We're still, um, we'll, we're having a meeting. Charles and I will be meeting next week to dig deeper into that. I haven't been in contact with them yet, but I know that that expiration date is approaching. So um, once we finalize the, the, the conversation on that, um, we'll, I'll be sure to update the council. And have, what was that company, Anadon, Anadoco? Or? Andalusia. Andalusia. Did we ever offer them that, that property to build there? I wasn't involved in that, in any conversations with them. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure where, where that conversation left off, but I'll be sure to follow up. And I had asked the previous director about the keys to the property, and mm -hmm. nobody ever got back with me about that. Okay. I'll be sure to follow up on that, too. Thank you. 
I'm sure there's a lot of loose ends that you're going to have to pick up and, and mm -hmm. move forward. Uh, at this time, uh, is there any other comments or discussion? If not, uh, we'll move to approval of the minutes. Go off it. Second. Any comments or discussion on the adoption of the November the 10th, 2022 regular meeting minutes and the November the 16th, 2022 special meeting minutes? Any discussion on uh, <coughs> items? Hearing none, she is open. And the minutes are adopted 7 to 0 with Councilman Gouy and Hay absent. Meeting is coming to a close, and I'd like to take the opportunity to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday season that's approaching us. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, serving as the port chairman for the past year. I think that we have uh, come a long way despite what some people uh, may have indicated. I think that we're in the process now of moving forward with the new uh, director and the attorney. And I think that uh, the, the port will be much better off moving in a, a positive, open, transparent direction and to be able to uh, be more successful and without dredging up the uh, the past, I look forward to the future. And uh, again, it's been a pleasure to serve as the, the port chairman for this past year. And with that, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll open the floor if any other comments before we move to an adjournment. Hearing none, yeah, uh, Ms. Newsom, yeah, Newberry. Before I leave, I just really um, had a great opportunity to be part of this port board. It, it was an um, adventure. It was. Um, it's all about, this is all about, um, you know, moving forward with, with economic development. And um, I know some some new things have started with Venture Globals, um, putting shovels in the ground. And, um, of course, we would like to have seen more. So, and as Mr. Russo said, we'd like to move forward with um, new blood here. And um, hopefully we'll see more success in the future. But I just want to thank everyone for the opportunity to be part of the um, Plaquemines Parish Port and serve vice chair for two years. So it's definitely been an honor. Thank you. Mr. Blank. Sure. <clears throat> it's been a pleasure to serve as well. I think that uh, the way our board is set up where members of the public are elected uh, to serve on the board provides Plaquemines Parish uh, a unique uh, opportunity to make sure that port projects uh, fit within the community that have, uh, we select projects that have uh, a low footprint with traffic and such, you know, diverting the tonnage onto the river and waterways versus onto our roads and rails when able, right? So uh, I hope that that, that board uh, structure remains in place and, you know, continues to provide the people here with a voice and opportunity to continue to guide the port towards success because we sit at a very strategic place on the planet. We have a lot of open water frontage that has deep water, you know, et cetera. So we're, we're in a good spot and we can control what comes here. We don't have to take every single thing. You know, we want to be open-minded and, you know, we want to have a good life here though. So it's been a pleasure to serve and I hope that the, the port can head in that direction. Thank you. Any further comments? Hearing none, I'd like to invite all of you to stay after the meeting and uh, enjoy the refreshments with us. We're uh, going to have a little social gathering after this meeting. So at this time, I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion by Councilman Conovich, second by Newberry. The machine is open. Councilmember Bartholomew. And the meeting is adjourned 7 to 0 at 1214.